Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. The herring are running. We're here in Brewster, and look at that swarm of fishy flesh behind me. And pretty soon the gulls will be coming for supper. CapeCast. Hey, it's vacation week. The kids are running around saying, let's do something. You're thinking, how about something free, outdoors? Not a lot of sugar. Bring them to the herring run. Things are happening here. It's vacation week right now. And those fish are meeting their destiny one way or another. Like right here, this gull dragged this herring out of the herring run and then had a whale of a time getting it into his belly. All right, I got him now. All right. I don't care if you're as big as I am, I'm going to eat you. That's what I do. Get over here. All right. Slide down. Someone give me some cocktail sauce. All right. Oh, oh no. All right. Get up. Are those people coming? Are those people coming down the path? Leave me alone. I'm eating. Will you just leave me alone? Get, get away from me. I'm going to eat that thing. I tell you. Get away from me right now. Oh. And look at this kid. Saving a herring that I think it's eaten right away. Ah, nature. The herring run at Stony Brook in West Brewster is one of the largest and healthiest runs on Cape Cod, primarily because of the abundance of suitable breeding habitat found in the string of six or seven ponds lying above its headwaters. It has been estimated that in good years, over a half a million fish come in from the bay to swim up the stream's winding mile-and-a-half course. Well, Tom, a lot of folks wonder about this house near the Herring Run. There's some issues with gulls on the roof. What can you tell us about the whole thing? You've lived here. I enjoy them all. They're all welcome. <laughs> but, but, Tom, they seem to maybe be doing a bit of pooping up there. Well, look at the green grass around here. Well, some kind of guano fertilizer Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. Do they keep you up at night? Not the slightest, except when they're on the chimney. <laughs> One thing I wanted to ask you, Tom, is about the cars in the driveway here. That seems inconvenient. Well, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. And I think the gulls enjoy it. It makes a wonderful target. So it's not that big of a deal, then? Not the slightest. I would imagine some folks in the community might have some sympathy for you. They look over, see your house, Tom, and say, ah, oh, geez, but really it's not that bad. They smile as they ride by. <laughs> say, it's not my house. Right. <laughs> Cape Cass. 